Welcome to Bad Food Vlog. And now that Halloween is out the way, I thought I'd, you know, it's now November, it's Christmas in every single shop, and although we haven't put up the decorations yet, that usually happens on the 1st of December because we have a kid, I thought I'd wear the Christmas jumper because you're going to be fed up with seeing this stuff fairly soon, so I thought I'd get in there first. This is my Christmas jumper. It is a T-Rex breathing lightning with a Santa hat on in front of a space field. It's a great Christmas jumper. Goes down well at Christmas parties. Um, not really, but... So today's video is Frey Bentos Steak and Kidney Pie New Improved Recipe by a famous chef in the description of the video. I won't insult him by mispronouncing his name because I've forgotten who it was. I really should have looked that up before the video. But to be honest, he hasn't put his name on the tin, so we'll leave it at that. What is interesting about this, though, is this one I'm going to be cooking completely differently. I'm going to be removing the lid, taking out the pastry, putting it on a baking tray, putting the pie tin next to it, and then seeing how it comes out when cooked that way. Do you think that's going to work? I think it's going to work. I'm going to get on with it. So this is the Frey Bento Steak and Kidney Pie separately. Separated. Separated. I think it's going to work quite well. Let's see how it comes on. So let's begin. First thing we can start by doing is whoops, opening the tin. Always a good idea. As you can see, this is working quite well. The tin opener is obviously doing its job. Try and get that in shot for just a little bit. Oh, already we have some of the pastry has stuck to the tin. So we have a little bit of a fail there. I can sort of stick that back on there. I don't know how many times I'm going to drop this before I get the idea. Right? Yeah. There we go. As you can see, I've separated the uh, thing there. non-stick greaseproof paper and let's get a spatula oh, there's a couple of bits of jelly on the bottom there but I'm not going to scrape anything off oh it's got that well, that's what a Frey Bentos pie looks like before it's cooked, people. Oops, that's a part of the pie. Put that over there with the rest of it. And uh, that, unceremoniously, just goes next to it there. And now, we shall bake it in the oven. And according to what I've read, this should come out the best way possible. Not sure I believe them, but let's get the oven on and find out, shall we? Gotta let it preheat first. And these pies are supposed to be cooked at 220, so we'll give it that correct timing. And let's see what happens. Okay, the oven's just finished cooking and it's ready. Let's see what it looks like. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Let's put it under the camera. So separating them out has maybe overcooked the pie contents a little and this feels quite solid. Wow. So let's take this bubbling heaving mass and put it on the plate. Still not sure if pulling it meat is the right thing to do. It does seem to be quite meaty. It definitely smells like steak and kidney pudding or steak and kidney pie. There we go. 
some of it's burnt to the bottom there a little bit in the corners but that's really to be expected let's scoop up the pie top put it on top there wow let's get a take this tray away and get a knife and fork and see what we're dealing with taste wise and a little dollop of tomato ketchup of course so i've often said it is the savior of cheap pies just a little bit of extra uh, places you can put something down that hot <coughs> Mmm. Wow. This really is quite impressive. Just going to try and get a better camera angle shot of it as I eat it. So, despite taking the pastry off of the top, it still doesn't appear to... I don't know. There's still some softer parts to it. But it does look a bit more like the photo. Well, still got that chewing gum. It, look, it tastes a lot better. And it's not as soggy, but it's not all puff pastry all the way down through like the photo. The top there appears to have triggered off, but the rest appear to have just stayed there. I think I attribute that. Mm, the recipe isn't that bad. The contents aren't too bad. I was expecting it to be um, as bad as last time I had it, but maybe it's cooking it this way. Maybe it's uh, the new recipe, but definitely nice. Mm. I think I could have taken the um, the pie bottom out five minutes ago and that would probably be okay and then leave this pie top in maybe at a lower temperature than the one advertised on the tin see if it was maybe 180 and did it for 35 minutes or 40 minutes the pastry might come up properly Mm. <clears throat> well, it certainly tastes better than cooking it in the tin. Mm. Which I find shocking. The pastry isn't that bad quality. My contents don't taste too bad either. Mmm. Well, this has been uh, the steak and kidney pie, new recipe. 33% extra meat, famous chef involved. Cooked by separating the pie lid out and cooking it separately. And I gotta say, maybe next time I could turn it over halfway through cooking and then make it fluffy all the way through. Maybe I'll try that next time. Mmm, that might work. I did not think of that. Definitely gonna try that next time. 
well, this has been Bad Food Blog. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll take this one last mouthful when I say bye-bye. Bye-bye.